I think if you was to trace it back to find out where it all started in terms of making some of the crazy things that I've made today, I think you'd probably have to look at the Wall of Death. Because we built the Wall of Death because I had loads of pallets left over from the world's biggest bonfire that we didn't manage to get moved. So once we built that, we uploaded that onto the internet and it was just like, oh, this is really cool, you know, what else can we make? The idea from the jet bike came from, we'd started making pulse jets and the obvious way to take it forward would be to put a pulse jet on something that moves. The jet was actually made from an old catering table out of a scrapyard. So my mate's mum had got rid of her bike, it was like an old rally shopper bike, and we thought, perfect, look at it, it's old, it's rusty, it's just begging for a jet. So I've got five Guinness World Records, biggest bonfire, longest motorbike, fastest mobility scooter, fastest pram and fastest toilet. The great thing about the Guinness World Records is it can give quite a mundane and stupid task a meaning because like the world's fastest toilet for instance, if you said oh, you know I, I want to go faster than 40, 50 mile an hour on a toilet, most people would just think why, you know, why, why do you want to do that? But whereas when you're doing it for a world record it gives it a meaning and all of a sudden it becomes like socially acceptable. People's opinion of what you do, even though it's not really that important, it does help if they're behind you. Because what I've noticed since my videos and stuff have got a lot more popular, is people are more willing to help me and give me stuff. The mobility scooter was given to me because the bloke who owns the shop in town watches all my videos and he was kind of like, oh yeah, I'll see what you can do with this. Whereas at the start, that never happened. It's kind of sad that it's that way round. It's like, well, you know, if we kind of helped everybody out like that all the time, then God knows what would get made or done. The mobility scooter did 71 mile an hour, so cramming a motorbike engine in there and all the controls, gear shifting and stuff like that, that's where the, the skill lies, I suppose. I don't worry too much about people emulating my things, because I think the people that have got the get up and go to want to try and do it anyway, normally have enough common sense and nows to know when something's going wrong or not. I think it is a good time to be an inventor. Obviously, with the internet showing you how to do things, you know, programs like Dragon's Den, if people want to learn to do something now, they can easily get the information, whereas before it was quite hard. The good thing about what I do now, and similar to what I used to do when I was a BMXer, is there's always a new trick to learn, there's always something you can do bigger and better, and it's the same with this. There's always something else to make, there's always something else to make better.